So hello, 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 everyone. My name is Rani, and I am a teacher for Yoga to the People Tel Aviv in Tel Aviv, Israel. And it is such an amazing opportunity, I believe, for all of us teachers around the world to be sharing this practice with all of you around the world. And there's something about just the concept and the narrative of um, quarantine that gets us so isolated, but at the same time, we're all together right now. We're all gonna be breathing and moving and feeling all together. So hopefully we'll be able to offer each other some deep breaths and some ease. If you want to put in some music because we can't put music on our end because then the sound won't be too good. If you have Spotify, you can log into my Spotify, which is Ronnie Stav, R-O-N-Y-S-T-A-V. I will be using um, YTTP2 playlist. Um, so if you want us to be in sync with each other, you're able to do that. And then we can just have the same music all together. I am going to open up the gallery and see all of you guys, amazing. So I'm gonna get some of you in the different screens. So I'll try to move in between the different screens to be able to cue um, all of you. And I actually see some people that I recognize from the practices in New York City. So hello everyone. And some that I recognize from the practices in Tel Aviv. So hello, hello, hello everyone. And let's get started in child's pose guys. Bala asana. So place your hips to the heels and relax your forehead to the mat. Choose whether you want to stretch the arms in front with the palms facing down or to place them by the sides of the body, palms facing up. Whatever allows you to find a little bit more ease in the shoulders and the upper back. Knees can be together or apart. Either have your knees together, allowing upper body to soften on top of the thighs, giving them a little massage. Or maybe you want to move the knees further away from one another so you can Start to open up and feel your hip joints doing the work here. So relax yourself down. Allow yourself to breathe a little bit further, deeper inwards. Coming into our Bala Asana, whether if it's right now in this interesting new period of our lives or every time we used to make it to make it to our mats at our studio it is always an opportunity it's an opportunity to go deeper inwards and to realize what are you made of today so it doesn't matter if this is morning time afternoon give yourself a moment to take in this child's pose Realize how are you feeling today? What am I made of with every and Helen? And what am I made of with every exhale out? Start to allow yourself to soften down further, deeper into the mat. Relax yourself down. Notice that you're letting go of your body, that you're softening your muscles, your facial muscles, inner thighs, fingers, toes. Often these are moments in the body that body keeps on holding control over. So do whatever you can in order to ease and drop yourself a little further, deeper inwards. In this time in our lives, um, there's a lot of supposedly spare time. But the thing is that when we are presented with so much time, sometimes we don't really use it to our benefit. We don't really give ourselves permission to focus our intention, our energy inwards, and to really make sure that we're taking advantage of this time to grow and move and feel from within. So in this time, inside your Bala Asana, allow yourself to fall further deeper inwards and relax yourself down. What am I made of with every inhaling? 
while I am with every exhale out. Gently start to walk your fingertips all the way towards the front of the mat. Let your elbows rise off the mat. Roots of the palms are rising up, palms are rising up off the mat, creating two small teepees with both hands like you have cups of water underneath your palms. And tuck the tailbone down, back, and low towards the back of the mat so you're opening up into both different sides of the body, feeling the skin stretches over the ribs. Take a big inhale in. And H A. Relax the palms down. And allow yourself to sway from side to side. Move your hips from side to side. Roll the forehead onto the mat, massaging the third eye. And from these gentle movements, start to make your way all the way to your tabletop position, placing the shoulders over the wrists and the hip joints over the knees. Notice we're not collapsing here to our joints, but rather you're Pressing away, spread your fingers wide so you feel the webbings in between. On an inhale, drop the belly, send the sit bones up, open chest, open throat, look all the way up high. On an exhale, pull the navel in, round the spine, drop the head heavy down. Inhale, belly drops, sit bones reach, chest opens, throat opens into your cow. Exhale, pulling the navel in, rounding the spine, dropping the head heavy into your cat. Inhale, belly drops, it pulls reach, chest opens, throat opens. Exhale, pulling the navel in, rounding the spine. Keep on moving through these two motions. Add some extra movement if it feels right. So you can move back and forth. You can find some circles, some rounds with the head, with the body. Keep your eyes closed. Beautiful, guys. Yes. And then gently, we'll make it all the way back to center. Send the right arm all the way up. Open your chest towards the right side. Stack the shoulders, one on top of the other. The palm is opening up towards the side of the right side of your room. And swing it from the back all the way towards the front, sending the right arm in front and the left leg back. Notice once again, we're not collapsing into our joints, but rather lifted. Think about hugging the rib cage inwards. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, underneath the body. Inhale, lengthen and expand. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Bend your knee and grab your foot from your big toe side. Take a moment to find your foot and then start to rotate. The shoulders to look towards the front. You're thinking about right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. And then kick your foot into your palm and open the chest towards the front. So think about right now, some of you are looking towards the side, towards your foot. Instead, look towards the front. Yes, exactly. I think it's Jess. It's beautiful. Look towards the front. Inhale. And exhale with control. Send the arm in front. Send the leg back. Lengthen. And place the palm. Place the knee down. Take a couple of more cow cat moments. Ease, let go of any tension in the spine. And gently make it all the way back to center. Keep on pressing the palms to the mat. Send the left arm all the way up. Open your chest towards the left side wall. And swing it from the front all the way. Send the uh, leg back and the arm in front. Think about your thumb up and your fingers forward. Beautiful, guys. Inhale. So, Jordan, think about your palm looking inwards instead of down. Yes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Bend your knee. Grab your foot from your big toe side. Think about your left shoulder forward and right shoulder back. And then kick the foot into the palm to open your chest towards the front. And once again, don't look at the foot, but instead look towards the front to open your chest and collarbones. Beautiful, Alexandra. Inhale. And exhale with control. Arm in front, leg back. Lengthen. And place the palm. Place any down. Take a couple more cow cat movements. Ease any tension. And then tuck the toes under, lift your knees up, send your sit bones back, drop the head heavy into your first downer facing dog. 
So in our downward facing dog, we're creating an upside down V shape in the body. Think about your sit bones reaching all the way up and the back of the legs reaching all the way towards the back of the room. Think about your heels reaching down towards the mat. Even if they don't touch the mat, have that intention of sending them down. Roll the shoulders down the back, shoulder blades down the back. Think about your armpits moving towards one another, rotating towards one another. Yes, guys, beautiful. Drop the head heavy. Shake it no, not it yes, to ease any tension. Exhale all the air out. Deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. Beautiful. Inhale, shift the weight, shoulders over wrists, upper push up plank. Exhale, send the sit bones up, drop the head heavy, downer facing dog. Inhale, shift the weight, shoulders over wrists, upper plank. Exhale, downer facing dog. Inhale, upper plank. And exhale, downer facing dog. Start to walk your palms towards your feet, all the way down to your forward fold. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand, drop the head heavy. Sway around like a raggedy and randy, soften and let go. Notice you're not holding at the back of your neck. Come think even more about dropping your head down. Yes, there we go. And then relax the palms all the way down. Walk your fingers on your shins, maybe up to your thighs to find your halfway lift. Think about the crown of the head reaching forward, chin away from chest, inhale. And exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up into your mountain pose, Tadasana. So we're rotating the pinkies inwards so we can soften the shoulders further down. Think about pulling the navel in, tucking the tailbone under, and close your eyes. So we all do standing all day, every day, even now when you're in your home but we don't really give ourselves an opportunity to feel ourselves standing, to feel ourselves rising within our bodies. So give yourself this moment, rise within your body. Figure out what lives inside of you today, what moves inside of you today. Think about taking in all the space you can, like you can occupy the whole room with your breath and body. On the next inhale, open your eyes. Look up towards your fingers. Squeeze your hips forward. Follow your fingers back. Reach up, reach back. And exhale, palms together. Hinge the hips. Soften it down. Forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Squeeze the hips forward. Send the heart up. Reach up, reach back. Go up, go back. And exhale, palms back together, hinges and soften down, forward fold. Three more times, one breath, one movement. Inhale, I rise. Exhale, I fall. Maybe close your eyes. Nothing to see, everything to feel. And after our third time, we'll meet all the way down in our forward fold. Soften the head heavy. Allow yourself to sway from side to side a little bit. Move the weight from one foot to the other. And then find center. Press through both of your heels. Inhale halfway. Send the crown of the head forward. And exhale, soften it down. Forward fold. Plant the palms on the mat. Walk your feet back into your upper push-up plank. So we have shoulders, elbows, and wrists stacked in one line. Heels are reaching back and crown of head reaching forward. You want to think about both of them reaching in both different directions. So you feel your hips slightly lifted here. Inhale, press away. Exhale, bend your elbows back rather than to the sides. Shin forward, heels back. If this is too much and you feel your butt collapsing, drop your knees. If not, keep them up. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Roll the shoulders back. If knees were up before, see if you can now keep your hips off the mat as long as it doesn't create any tension in lower back. I think it's Sierra, beautiful. Inhale. 
And exhale, tuck toes under, sit bones up high, down or facing dog. Exhale, all the air out. Deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. On your next inhale, right leg up and back behind you. We're starting with length. So send it towards the back of the room like you're trying to press into an invisible wall that's right behind you. If you actually have a wall behind you, you can try and press into it so you can feel even more of that work. Inhale, send it back. And exhale, bend the knee and open your hip towards the right side. Maybe peek underneath the right arm, looking towards the right side wall. And if it feels right, flip your dog. Bring the right foot outside the left outer edge of the mat. Both feet are looking towards the back of the room. Bend your knees and squeeze your buttocks high. Send the fingers all the way towards the front. Beautiful, guys. Keep on pressing through the feet. Open up. And then bring the palm back down and send the right leg up and back behind you. Inhale, send that up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, up high, look in front, and gently place the foot all the way between your hands. Make sure the foot get all the way between the palms. If it didn't get all the way there, take it there. Rotate the back heel down, we have two feet on the mat, and reach the arms up into your warrior one. Beautiful, guys. So in our warrior one, we want to feel our left hip moving forward and our right hip moving back. So we're sitting down low and rotating our whole body towards the front of the room. Soften the shoulders all the way down. Julianne, you can even think more. Left hip forward and right hip back. Yes, girl, beautiful. Keep on sitting down low into the lunge. Knee on top of ankle, creating a 90 degree angle in our front leg. Pull the navel in, keep on engaging both feet pressed against the mat. Soften the eyes, the gaze, ease the shoulders. Breathe here. Inhale, open your eyes, look up, reach up, reach back, go back. And exhale, bring both of your palms down. Bring your foot back and move through your flow, upper plank to lower plank, upper facing dog, roll the shoulders, shine the heart, all the way back into your downer facing dog. On the next inhale, left leg all the way up and back behind you, starting with length, send it towards the back of the room, even out the weight between the palms, inhale. And exhale, bend the knee, flex the foot, open up towards the left side, peek underneath the left arm, inhale. And exhale, try to bring the left foot outside right outer edge of the mat. Both feet are rotating towards the back of your room, looking towards the back. Bend your knees so you can flip your dog into your wild thing. Exactly. Squeeze the hips up. Beautiful, guys. Inhale. And exhale, bring the palm back down and send the leg up and back behind you. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and round your spine. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, up high, look in front, and bring the foot all the way between your hands. Make sure the foot get all the way between the palms or take it there. Rotate the back heel down. We have two feet on the mat, two heels on the mat, and reach the arms up high. Warrior one on your left side. So once again, think about rotating both hips to look towards the front. Now it's your right hip forward and your left hip back. Think about your inner thighs doing the work here. We're not collapsing into the front leg, but rather we're pressing through both feet to lift our upper body up into that lunge. Soften through the shoulders. Soften the jaw, the tongue. Breathe here. Inhale, open your eyes. Look up, look at it back. And exhale, both palms down. Bring your foot back and move through your flow. Upper plank to your lower plank. Upper facing dog, shine your heart. All the way back to your downer facing dog. Exhale, all the air out. Deep inhale in. And exhale. 
Wow, I could really see in all of your bodies the HA. So thank you for that when I can't hear you. This is beautiful to see. On the next inhale, reach the right leg up and back behind you. And on your exhale, once again, bring the foot in between your hands. Rotate the back heel down. We're placing both of our heels on the mat. Send the arms up, find your warrior one. And on an exhale, blossom open warrior two. So we're sending both of our middle fingers in two different directions. Knee and toes are still looking towards the front of the room. And think about tucking the tailbone down and under. Yes, Jess, that was beautiful. Keep on sitting down and low. Look at your uh, back arm. See, it is where you think it is, creating one long line of energy in between the arms. Yes, guys, nice. Inhale, flip the front palm. Send it towards the front of the room. And then take it up and back. Press your left palm against your left leg, anywhere on the leg, just not on the knee. And send the right fingers up and back behind you. This is a side stretch, so you wanna feel your ribs moving away from one another. Keep sitting down low into the lunge. Reach up, reach back. And exhale, curtain of the hands down, one after the other. Bring your palms down to the mat. Bring the right foot back and move through your flow. Upper plank to your lower plank. Shine your heart in your upper facing dog all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back behind you. Send it up. Look in front and bring the foot all the way between your hands. Rotate the back heel down. Swing the arms up. Find your warrior one. Take a moment here to breathe. Inhale. And exhale, blossom open, warrior two. Keep on sitting low into the lunge. And don't think about opening the chest too much because then it creates this um, curve in the spine. You wanna think about tucking everything inwards. So you're gonna feel your inner thigh and your left quad working more. Yes, send the arms in both different directions. Sit down low into the lunge. Inhale, flip the front palm. Send it towards the front of the room. Take it all the way up and back, press your Right palm into your right leg. Keep sitting low into that lunge, but send left fingers up and back behind you. If you feel your back, it means that your butt is sticking out. Think about tucking the tailbone down and under instead. Reach up, reach back. Reverse warrior, peaceful warrior. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Bring your foot back. And move through your flow. Upper plank to lower plank. Shine the heart. All the way back to down or facing down. And now it's yours. One breath, one movement. Warrior one, warrior two, reverse your warrior. If you know where you're going, just go. If you need a little bit more instruction, send the right leg all the way up and back. Bring the foot in between your hands. Rotate the back heel down in order to swing the arms up to your warrior one. Take an inhale, blossom open, warrior two. Take another inhale to flip the palms, send it towards the front. Take it up and back, open your right set of ribs, and then cartwheel the hands down, bring foot back, and move through your flow. And then moving onto your left side, one breath, one movement. If you can, try and close the eyes, even if for just one moment, give yourself this opportunity to feel the movement instead of taking it in from all of your surroundings. Inhale, I move. Exhale, I move again. After we'll finish with our left side, we'll all meet in our downer facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful, guys. Take your time. This is your time to feel your body, to move through your body, to make it yours. And when you're back in your downer facing dog, make sure you feel it, that you're not waiting for the next moment to happen. You're creating a moment right now. So be inside of it. Wherever you are, exhale all the air out, empty out the body. Take a deep, deep inhale in. And H-A. On the next inhale, reach the right leg up and back behind you. 
Exhale, bring the knee to the outside of your right elbow. Foot is up off the mat, so we're hovering here. Inhale, and send it up and back behind you. On the next exhale, send your knee to the outside of your left elbow, still hovering here in the air. Press with both of your palms. Inhale, send it back up. And on an exhale, bring the foot all the way between your hands. Rotate the back heel down, two feet are on the mat, and then send the arms back behind you into your powerful lunge. The palms are facing down, soften the shoulders, chin away from chest, and keep opening the chest towards the front. Really activate through the right foot. As you're gonna send your right heel further down, you're gonna feel that your abdominal wall, wall works harder. Inhale, interlace the fingers, open the chest. Chin away from chest, look in front. And then send the arms in front of you. Lengthen your body forward. And once again, blast them open, warrior two. Sitting low into the lunge, knee on top of the ankle, press through both feet evenly in the body. Close the eyes. This is one of the biggest self-expression poses that we take. So notice what it means to spread your body in that way, to take space. How does it feel? How does it make you breathe? Inhale, send upper body forward like you're surfing, and then bring your right palm to the inside of the right foot and send your left arm all the way up. Look up, gaze towards your left fingers if it's okay for the neck. If it's too much, look towards the left side. Inhale. And exhale, bring your left palm down and bring your right arm all the way up. Reversing our side angle. Try to keep the back leg down. If you need to bring it a little bit closer so that the heel is down, do that instead of lifting the heel. Exactly, guys. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring both of your palms down to the mat. Take your right arm underneath and around the right leg. Hold your ankle with both of your hands, drop the head heavy down. Feel your right hip here doing the work. Try to bring your right shoulder underneath the right knee. Yes, there's a big burn here, that's okay. Breathe through it, breathe through the fire. And then from here, send your left arm over, open it up, and relax it behind your back. Take your right palm and try to find your fingers underneath your right thigh. Don't send it all the way back towards your pelvis like a G-string, but rather bring it as close as possible to the right knee in order to open your bind towards the left side. Yes, guys, beautiful. Look up if it's available in the neck. Inhale. And exhale, bring both of your palms down. Lift your left heel off the mat. Press through both feet and reach the arms up into your high lunge. So back heel is lifted and it's looking towards the back of the room rather than down towards the mat. Activate both of your legs, open your chest. Inhale. Exhale, swing the arms back behind you, airplane wings. Inhale. Exhale, back behind you. Inhale, up high. Bring your palms together. Lower them down, heart center, namaskar. Bring the left elbow outside of the right knee. Press elbow to knee, knee into elbow to open the chest towards the right side. If your thumbs are at heart center, literally in heart center, you can send your left arm down and right arm up into your flyaway. Inhale, look up. And exhale, bring the palms together. Lift yourself up, high lunge. Activate the front leg, it will feel like a lot. And bring both palms down. Bring your foot back. Move through your flow, upper plank to lower plank. Upper facing dog, shine the heart, look up. All the way back into your downer facing dog. Exhale, lunge. Deep in heaven. And H A. 
On the next inhale, look in front, walk or lightly jump towards the front of the mat, forward falls. Take two fists and place them in between your feet to measure anatomical hip width. Bend your knees as much as you need in order to hug your fists together with your feet. Inhale, halfway Arda, lengthen your body forward. And exhale, soften it down. Inhale, hips down, arms up. It's good to ask on that chair pose. So in our chair pose, we're sitting down into a tiny invisible chair. Think that the chair is right underneath you and down under. Look down. If your knees are covering your toes, if you can't see your toes, you want to take your knees further down and back so you feel your quads and inner thighs doing the work here. Beautiful, guys. Keep on sitting down low. Knees are not collapsing in or out. Feet are creating the number 11. Soften the shoulders. Sit lower. Reach up higher. And soften it down, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Second set, chair pose. So we already know where we're at. So we're not rebuilding a new pose, but we are building a new moment on top of the chair pose. Yes, Pam, beautiful, that we have moved through before. We're sitting all the way down. We're opening all the way towards the front. From here, keep moving the weight back to the heels. Bring your stomach on your thighs, your chest onto your knees. Try to send the arms over the ears. Inhale. And exhale, bring the palms down. Walk or jump your feet back. And move through your flow, upper plank to lower plank, upper facing dog, all the way back into your downward facing dog. Exhale out, deep inhaling, sigh it out. Left leg up, up and back behind you, send it up and back. Exhale, bring your left knee to the outside of the left elbow. You're hovering over the mat. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to the outside of the right elbow. Keep the foot up. Inhale, reach it up high. Look in front. And bring the foot all the way between your hands. Make sure the foot get all the way between the hands. Rotate the back heel down, 45 degree angle with the back foot. Send the arms up into your warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, send the arms back behind you into your powerful lunge. Palms are looking down, sending the shoulders forward. Think about pulling your navel all the way in, hugging your rib cage in so you feel your back muscles doing the work here. Interlace the fingers, send the fingers back, open the collarbones towards the front and away from chest. And then send the arms all the way in front of you. Lengthen your torso forward and blossom open, warrior two. Tucking the tailbone down and under, sitting down low into the front leg, knee on top of ankle. Send upper body forward like you're surfing and bring your left palm to the inside of the left foot. Send the right fingers up high. So we're stacking the shoulders one on top of the other here. The Right palm is facing towards the right side. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale, bring the right palm down. Bring the back foot a tad bit closer if needed. And send your left arm all the way up. Opening into your reverse side angle. Look up if it's available in the neck. Inhale. And exhale, place both palms on the mat. We'll take the left arm underneath and around. The left leg, both hands clasped at the ankle. Drop the head heavy and work towards bringing the shoulder underneath the knee. As you're gonna sit down lower into your lunge, it will actually make it easier to find it. Yes. From here, send your right arm over, look up, and relax it behind your back. So we're trying to relax it closer to our shoulder blades, as you can see me doing right now, instead of dropping down towards the tailbone. And then take your left arm underneath and around. Try to find your fingers. If you find the fingers, lock them together. If you can't find the fingers, grab your pants and start to open towards the right side. Maybe roll and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, 
and exhale, bring both of your palms down. Bring your foot down. Oh, sorry, no, bring your foot to the front. My bad, my bad. Send the left foot all the way towards the front. Keep your right heel up and send the arms up into your high lunge. It felt too easy on the left side. Keep sitting down low into the lunge. Sit low, inhale. Exhale, bring the palms together and lower them down into your heart center. Namaskar. Puff the chest. And now right elbow outside of the left knee and start to press and open towards the left side. If thumbs are at heart center, you can send your left arm up and right arm down into your flyaway. Inhale. Exhale, palms together. Lift yourself all the way up. Open your chest. Press through the front leg. And bring the palms down. Now bring your foot back. Move through your flow. Breathe here. Open up. And send your hips back, heels down, head heavy, down or facing dog. Exhale, sigh everything out. Deep inhale in. And exhale. On the next inhale, look in front. Walk or lightly jump towards the front of the mat. Then bend both of your knees, place two fists in between again. Hug your fists with your feet so you find anatomical hips with. Bend your knees as much as you need in order to measure that up for you. Then let go of the palms. Inhale halfway. And exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Utkadasana, chair pose. Sit down low, send the way back. Think about rotating your pinky fingers towards one another so you're softening through the shoulders more. Hug the rib cage in, send your sit bones further back. Yes, guys, this looks beautiful. Sit low, reach up high, and relax all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, arms up, second set. Sit down and low, send the weight back towards the heels. Feel your lower back activated here instead of collapsing into its flexibility. From here, bring your stomach onto your thighs, your chest onto your knees. Send the arms over your ears, over your head, and away from chest. And bring the palms down. Walk or lightly jump back and move through your flow. Exhale and soften. Take a deep, deep inhale in. Eche. Yes. On your next inhale, look in between your palms. Walk or lightly jump the feet all the way forward. Bringing our feet together this time around. Feet are touching, toes and heels touch. Squeeze everything together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, soften it down. Inhale, hips down, arms up, palms pressed into your thunderbolt. So we're pressing the palms together. Think about pressing the pinky fingers towards one another. So you're rotating the arms towards one another. Keep on sending the weight all the way back. Pop the chest forward. Squeeze in our thighs. Feel your quads working. Inhale. And then bring your hands to heart center. Namaskar. Puff the chest. Left elbow outside of the right knee. As you're going to sit down lower, it will make it actually easier to open up. Look down for a moment, make sure knees are together, and then press your knee into your elbow, your elbow into your knee. If thumbs are in heart center, right arm up, left arm down. Inhale, exhale, bring the palms together. Bring yourself to center, puff the chest. Other side. Right elbow outside of left knee. Look down, make sure knees are in the same line. Sit down lower. Press evenly through the feet and open up. If thumbs are at heart center, left arm up, right arm down. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring the palms back together and lift yourself back up. Half the chest, inhale. 
and bring yourself all the way up to standing. Squeeze that thigh, squeeze your glutes, it should feel super nice. And swing the arms all the way up. So we have our arms up and we're interlacing the fingers, relaxing only, releasing only index finger, sending them all the way up. Think about a rotation of the armpits towards one another. Think about hugging the rib cage inward, squeeze in our thighs all the way. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale. And exhale, send the fingers towards the right side, the hips towards the left. So we're opening an arch in the left side of the body. As you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs and glutes more, you're gonna feel that you're opening the chest, chin away from chest. Open up for three, for two, for one. Bring it all the way to center. Soften the shoulders down. Keep squeezing in our thighs. Engage. Inhale. And then send the fingers towards the left. Hips to the right. Opening up now the right set of ribs. Keep on squeezing the roots of the palms together. Chin away from chest for three, for two, for one. Make it all the way to center. Soften the shoulders down. Look up. Spot your fingers, start to send your fingers back, send your heart forward, up, look up, look back, and exhale, hinge of the hips, engage, and as gently as possible, keep the arms together, interlace, lower it down to the mat. And then soften the arms, let go. Once again, grab up as an elbow and up as a hand. Other way from what you're used to, the way that feels awkward in the body, Drop the head heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften it down, forward fold. Plant the palms and walk your feet back into your upper push-up. Pause here in your upper push-up plank. Inhale, press away from the mat. Exhale, lower down, half of the way down, look forward. Inhale, press it away. If this is too much, drop your knees down, press it away. Exhale, lower down a third of the way down. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, lower down two inches above the mat. Hover, press through the palms. Send it all the way up. And send the sit bones up. Drop the head heavy. Down or facing down. Exhale out. Deep inhale in. And H-A. Inhale, right leg up and back behind you. And exhale, send it all the way through to your half pigeon. So in our half pigeon, we have the right knee wider than the right shoulder or hip. And take a moment, tuck the left toes under the back leg and send your knee a few inches back so you can really open up into that right hip and then let go of the toes if possible. If you feel that it's too much, you can keep the toes tucked, but if possible, drop it down. And from here, relax down, maybe two palms, maybe two forearms, and maybe relaxing the forehead down to the mat. Half pigeon uh, hip opener is an opportunity to let go of moments that we have locked inside our body. And if that idea sounds a bit spiritual to you, just think about your shoulders. We all know we hold stress there, we hold tension there. So it only makes sense that an even bigger joint in the body works in the same way. So half pigeon can feel really challenging. But accommodate yourself with a breath. Allow yourself to soften further, deeper, inwards. What am I made of with every inhale? What am I made of with every exhale? Eyes are not closed, close them. The face are not serene, relax them. Move further, deeper inwards. And then gently, we'll start to lift ourselves all the way up. 
Bring the palms closer towards your leg. Open the chest towards the heart. Tuck the back toes in. Lift the back knee. And send the right leg all the way up and back. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg all the way up half. And then send it through. Find your half pigeon on your left side. Knee is wider than shoulder or hip. Take a moment, tap the back toes to send the back knee a few inches back and let go of the toes. And soften yourselves down, maybe to palms, maybe to forearms, maybe your forehead will relax down. Don't impose the movements that you have found in your right side body into your left side. Symmetry is an idea of the mind, not of the body. So just because we have two hip joints, it doesn't mean that they're holding the same movements inside. It doesn't mean that they're operating in the same kind of way. So allow yourself to find your left side as a new moment in your body. Keep your eyes closed. Fold further, deeper inwards. And if thoughts are starting to um, race in your mind, so just breathe, allow them out. Inhale, I. Exhale, in. Inhale, I. Exhale, in. Give yourself permission to soften. How active softening down can feel here in this hip open. Breathe through it. Notice what moves there, what feels there inside your body. And then gently, we'll start to lift our up. Bringing the palms closer to the back, opening the chest towards the front. Tuck the left toes under. Lift, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up there. Send the left leg all the way up and back. And send the leg all the way down. Drop your knees down to the left. Come to standing on your knees. So here when we're standing on our knees, we're gonna move into our camel. Camel is the, uh, one of the biggest back bends that we're taking, but most importantly, it's a front opener. You don't wanna feel yourself collapsing into your flexibility. You wanna feel that you're rolling over something. So in order to find it, place both hands on your lower back so that the roots of the palms are a little higher up towards the lower back and the palms are pressing against the sacrum. Roll the shoulders back, bring the elbows closer to one another. So already here you feel this openness in the chest. From here, send your hips forward, then send your bottom rib all the way up high, and only then relax your head back. Only if you see the floor behind you and you feel safe, drop your palms down to your heels, but keep thinking hips forward, heart up. Close the mouth so you can stretch the neck. We'll take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale, keep squeezing forward. Yes, exhale two. And on the next inhale, if your palms are down to your heels, bring your palms back to your lower back. Gently lift yourself up. Stack the vertebrae one on top of the other. Think about tucking the tailbone down and under. Come back into standing on the knees and drop yourself down. So we can stay here in Japanese style sitting. If this is too much for your feet, you can move your feet forward to sit here Indian style, whatever allows you to really relax. We're gonna move into a quiet sitting. You can relax your arms on top of the legs with palms facing up or press them into one another, heart center, and a scar, press them into your heart or bring your thumbs to your third eye or anything else that resonates with you. Tuck the chin in and close your eyes. Thank yourself. That for 60 moments, 
you have moved your attention and your intention inwards. That you allowed yourself to focus on yourself, that you have used the time that you were given in a way that allows you to open up, to breathe deeper inwards, to unravel the self you are today. The body feels different every single day. We feel different every single day. But often we confuses the energy that surrounds us with our own feelings, our own thoughts, our own existence inside. Our society, our culture taught us to act like sponges and whatever it is that I receive is what I have inside and it's what I can project. And especially in this really um, crazy period of our lives, we're all watching the news a lot. And so we take in those ideas that are being presented to us over and over and over again. But when we come to our yoga, when we come to our practice, we allow ourselves to clean up all these external voices and we allow ourselves to tap inwards, to hear my own voice, to notice my own sensations, to work through my own breaths, my own moments within. And that's huge, it's always huge, but especially in these days, it is so important when we're all um, inside four walls most of our days, Make sure you have more room inside to breathe into. You have more room in your heart, in your body, in your soul to explore and to travel through, to claim back your body, to claim back your breaths. So thank yourself for the work that you've been doing today, for moving inwards taking care of yourself, supporting your breath, supporting your movements. With every inhale in, invite to your body something you need today. Every exhale out, let go of something that doesn't serve you. Inhale, what am I inviting? Exhale, what am I inviting? Inhale, what am I inviting in? Exhale, what am I inviting out? And then take the long, the deepest, the most luxurious breath in in honor of your work, of your body, of your breath. And H-A. Soften the eyes. Flatter the eyes open super gently. Bring the palms down to the left. Press the heels under. Send your legs all the way towards the top. Scooch the fleshy parts away from the sit bones. Strain the legs in front of you. Send the arms up. And send yourself forward. Now, this you can take it in both ways. You can either have it actively and then think about activating the legs, sending the body forward, maybe grabbing your toes or your feet, bringing stomach on thighs, chest onto knees. And if you can take it in a passive way, you can bend your knees and just relax upper body towards the legs. We're opening into the space between the shoulder blades where we tend to carry a lot of weight, emotional and physical. So do whatever you need in order to let go of that weight to open more space inside. Inhale. Exhale out. Let's take two more here. Inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. And let that go. Vertebra by vertebra. Allow yourself to come all the way back up. To sit, head and chin up. 
Look in front. Bend your knees. And once again, scooch the fleshy parts away from the sit bones. If you don't have a lot of room behind you, then uh, move your butt a little bit further towards the front of the mirror. And then lift your legs up. You can have them bent or straight. And then bring your palms together to touch to your Navasana. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, look past the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist, look over the left shoulder. Back to center. Inhale. Look past the left shoulder once again. Bring yourself to center. And then past the right shoulder. Bring yourself to center. Separate the palms. Inhale, bring the knees to the chest. Exhale, lengthen over and hover. Inhale, bring the knees in. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, lengthen. Scissor kick the legs for five, four, three, two. Bicep by the ears. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your head down. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a well deserved hug. Tuck the chin in so you can open into the back of the neck. Inhale, squeeze. And exhale, sway from side to side. Giving your back a little massage, your sacrum maybe. And then grab both feet with both hands. Open it up, happy baby dead buck pose. And just allow yourself to playfully sway from side to side. Ease and fall further deeper in. And in your own time, when you feel like it's right, relax the legs in front. Arms are either by the sides of the body, palms facing up to share the energy in your space. Or one hand to the heart, if you want to the stomach, if you want to share the energy that resides within you and connect a little bit further, deeper inwards. Yeah, and if you're cold, place something on you, your socks, your shirt. And then relax yourself further, deeper down to your final Shavasana. Shavasana is not the end of our practice. It's an opportunity, it's a door to dive further, deeper inwards. It's your ability to take in the hard work that you've invested in yourself for 60 moments. And to allow yourself to tap further deeper into the existence that resides within. So allow yourself to soften and let go here. Allow yourself to be fully and completely committed to the Shav Asana, to your corpse pose. Think about yourself becoming as heavy as possible. Don't think about yourself as a hard object. Think about yourself as a thick liquid, taking in more and more space, pressing your back against the earth. Lying down in your final shavasana. Just leave one ear open for announcements. First and most importantly, thank you so, so much for showing up, for creating this amazing moment inside, for spreading the light that resides within you. Just because we're not only in the we're not only in the same room, it doesn't mean that you did not spread your light all around. Make permission to others around you to breathe and move and feel. Yoga to the people was and always will be donation based. We are offering this practice to whoever needs, whoever wants the yoga, rather than whoever can afford it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting this cause time after time again. Our donations are available through our website, yogatothepeople.com. There's a little um, tab there to donate. Allow us to try and keep ourselves strong, try to keep on extending this community, 
Let's make sure that we're keeping ourselves one strong tribe, one strong community. And we'll end the practice with a quote, a breath, and the ringing of the Tibetan singing bowl. You're going to realize it one day that happiness was never about your job or your degree or being in a relationship. One day you're going to see it, that happiness was always about the discovery, the hope, the listening to your heart. Happiness was always about being kinder to yourself. It was always about embracing the person you were becoming. One day you will understand that happiness was always about learning how to live with yourself. That happiness was never in the hands of other people. It was always about you. Exhale all the air. Take the long, deepest inhaling. And H.A. With eyes still closed, bring some movements to your fingers and your toes. Bring yourself back to this moment. And in your own time, roll onto your right side body. Press your left palm to the mat. And bring yourself all the way to sitting in a way that's comfortable for you. Bring your hands to heart center in the sky. The chin. Thank yourself for the work, for showing up for yourself, for facilitating a space for yourself and for others. Take a big inhale. Good day, Che. Namaste. Thank you all so, so much for joining us for this practice. You can see we have two practices per day, every day in our website. You can follow us on the different social medias, um, Instagram, Facebook, to follow workshops and opportunities to move. Thank you all so, so much. Make sure you're staying at home, you're staying safe, you're breathing deep, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Thank you so Merci much. Beaucoup. Merci. <laughs> thank Merci you. Thank you. Thank you.